Megalodon is the common name for Otis Megalodon, a truly gigantic predatory shark that went extinct long ago. Thanks to urban legends and the popularity of movies like The Meg, Megalodon is once again in the public eye. But what is fact and what is fiction? In this video, we hope to help dispel the myths about this giant prehistoric shark. The Megalodon, which went extinct millions of years ago, was the largest shark ever to prowl the oceans and one of the largest fish on record. Like other sharks, they had streamlined yet powerful bodies built to efficiently cut through the water. Their tail fin undulated side to side and they breathed through gill slits on either side of their head. The scientific name Carcharocles Megalodon means giant tooth, and for very good reason. Its massive teeth are almost three times larger than the teeth of a modern great white shark. The Megalodon's fossilized vertebrae and teeth give scientists major clues about what the creature was like and when it died off, although some estimates of size can be quite contradictory. Megalodon size estimates vary depending on the method used, with the maximum total length estimates ranging from 14.2 meters to 20.3 meters. In comparison, large great white sharks are generally around 6 meters in length. A 2020 study looking at dimensions of the modern great white, mako, and lamna sharks suggested a 16-meter megalodon would have had a 4.65-meter long head, 1.41-meter tall gill slits, a 1.62-meter tall dorsal fin, 3.08-meter long pectoral fins, and a 3.85-meter tall tail fin. Mature male megalodon may have had a body mass of 12.6 to 33.9 metric tons, and mature females may have been 27.4 to 59.4 metric tons. A 2015 study linking shark size and typical swimming speed estimated that megalodon would typically have swam at 18 kilometers per hour, assuming that its body mass was 48 metric tons. Megalodon teeth are similar to those of modern white sharks in that they are triangular, serrated, and symmetrical. The difference from modern white shark teeth is that they are larger and thicker. The serrations on each tooth occur in regular intervals, and they possess a darker, chevron-shaped region near the tooth's root. The largest extant megalodon tooth measures 17.8 centimeters in length, almost three times longer than those of modern white sharks, which are typically about 5.4 centimeters long. In addition, megalodon possesses a ferocious bite. It's estimated that its jaw would span 2.7 by 3.4 meters wide, several times larger than the jaw diameter of average-sized white sharks, and easily big enough to swallow two adult people side by side. These jaws were lined with 276 teeth, and studies reconstructing the shark's bite force suggest that it may have been one of the most powerful predators ever to have existed. A lot of reconstructions have Megalodon looking like a bigger version of the great white shark, because for a long time people thought they were related. We now know that this is not the case, and Megalodon is actually from a different lineage of shark of which Megalodon was the last member. The oldest conclusive ancestor of Megalodon is a 55 million year old shark known as Atodus obliquus, which grew to about 10 meters in length. But the evolutionary history of this shark is thought to stretch back to Cratalamna appendiculata, dating 105 million years old, making the lineage of Megalodon over 100 million years old. The Megalodon was a top of the food chain predator. It fed on other big marine mammals like whales, dolphins, seals, and sea turtles. Juveniles inhabited warm coastal waters and fed on fish and small whales. Unlike the Great White, which attacks prey from the soft underside, Megalodon probably used its strong jaws to break through the chest cavity and puncture the heart and lungs of its prey. It would also have attacked the fin and tail of its prey in order to immobilize it. Like the dinosaurs, the Megalodon liked warmth, and during its time it hunted in the warm, shallow seas that covered much of the planet. The teeth of this giant shark have been found on every continent except Antarctica, and almost all fossil remains of Megalodon are teeth. Sharks continually produce teeth throughout their entire lives. Depending on what they eat, sharks lose a set of teeth every one to two weeks, getting through up to 40,000 teeth in their lifetime. This means that shark teeth are continuously raining down onto the ocean floor, increasing the chance that they will get fossilized. Teeth are also the hardest part of a shark's skeleton. While our bones are coated in the mineral calcium phosphate, shark skeletons are made entirely from softer cartilage like our nose and ears. So while the more robust teeth become fossilized relatively easily, 
only in very special circumstances will soft tissue be preserved. While the popular 2018 movie The Meg pits modern humans against an enormous megalodon, it's actually more likely that the beast died out before humans even evolved. In fact, scientists now know that Megalodon had become extinct by the end of the Pelosine 2.6 million years ago, when the planet entered a phase of global cooling. Precisely when the last Megalodon died, however, is not known, but new evidence suggests that it was at least 3.6 million years ago. Up to a third of all marine animals, including 43% of turtles and 35% of seabirds, became extinct as temperatures cooled and the number of organisms at the base of the food chain plummeted, resulting in a knock-on effect to the predators at the top including the Megalodon. This was not the only contributing factor to the extinction of the Megalodon. As the adult sharks were dependent on tropical waters, the drop in ocean temperatures likely resulted in a significant loss of habitat. It may also have resulted in the Megalodon's prey either going extinct or adapting to the cooler waters and moving to where the sharks could not follow. It's also thought that Megalodon gave birth to its young close to the shore, these shallow coastal waters would have provided a nursery for the pups, protecting them from predators that were lurking in the open water, like the larger toothed whales. As ice formed at the poles and the sea level dropped, these pupping grounds would have been destroyed. Despite many reports to the contrary, Megalodon is definitely no longer alive in the deep oceans. If an animal as big as that was still in existence, we would know about it. For starters, the sharks would leave telltale bite marks on other large marine animals, and their huge teeth would continue littering the ocean floors in their tens of thousands. Not to mention that, as a warm water species, Megalodon would not be able to survive in the cold waters of the deep, where it would have a better chance of going unnoticed. We also know for an absolute fact that Megalodon was a huge predator that needed to eat more than a ton of meat a day to survive. That food abundance is simply not present anywhere in the ocean's depths. For those of you who would like to come face to face with a life-size replica of the Megalodon, just take a trip to the National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. There you will find the 52-foot model of an average-sized female Megalodon. In order to show the large teeth, the model is displayed with its mouth open. If you're unable to get to America, then just watch the film The Meg. It is, after all, a pretty good likeness. Have you seen the film The Meg? What did you think of this gigantic creature? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.